I think we're good to go now, folks. Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here. The lab coat's on back order, and it is day one, release day, of the new Pokemon TCG Sun and Moon expansion of Team Up. Wait, do I have this muted? Yes, I do. Hello, Dazzling Shell 101. You're always first for our live streams. Welcome back once again for some more Pokemon action on the channel. Wait, are we live? I see my playback is taking its time. One second, we'll make sure we are good to roll here. Let me just try refresh. As I've said in the past, TCG Online seems to be the game, basically, that can destroy my internet connection. So, we'll hope for the best, but I'll keep my eyes peeled. Let me know ahead of time if there is any lag spikes, and I'll see what I can do about it. But usually, as you know, per usual, we're at the mercy of the internet provider. So, anyways... We'll deal with that as it happens. Hello to Sailor Pika. Happy Sun and Moon team up pre- or not pre-release. Release day. You said release day. I said pre-release. I'm so used to my videos. And hello to OMG It's Sark as well in the chat. Again, I just call you, I gotta call you Sark. I gotta keep in mind. We got Dazzling Shell, Sailor Pika, Sark. So there's a few of us here so far. We're gonna wait a little bit and we're gonna get some more people here. I have sent out some code cards from the pre-release video that we put up asking you folks for that question of the day, sending out the code cards. A couple people answered without putting the hashtag QOTD, which I do say you must do to get a uh, code card, but nice thing about the channel being somewhat on the smaller side still, I had enough codes to give to everybody who left a comment with or without the hashtag, but all I'll say is... In the future, if anyone does want to have a chance to win code cards from the pre-release, just make sure you do put the hashtag QOTD, because if I have enough people that have answered with the hashtag, and I have, like, say, the limited code cards to give out, I'm going to prioritize people that use that hashtag, because it's easier for me to uh, build them together, uh, assemble them together, I guess. And uh, Dazzling Shell is using your new phone for YouTube. Oh, sounds cool. I am on your new phone. Hello, new phone. How's it going? And hello, Poplio girl. Welcome to our... Day one, release day coverage of the Team Up expansion. So what are we going to do today? Well, in a way, it's going to be somewhat of a pre-release for me, because, of course, at the Heroes Beacon Pokemon League, where I do the professoring, I don't do any of the actual playing. It is more me being on the organizational side. I mean, I do get one of the Team Up boxes, which you guys saw in the pre-release video, and I did get those nice fancy cards. Might as well show them off again, since we are here. Well, I'll show you one. Just because it is the fancy one. I don't know if you guys saw the pre-release or not. I'm sure many of you did, but there's that nice rainbow rare Latios Latios Team Up GX card. Look at that shine. Kind of like that one. But I don't get to play the game on pre-release day. So what this is today is my own version of it, where I have 10 booster packs of the Team Up expansion. I'm going to open those up with you folks together. Here, we'll see what I can get. Hope the hype is real for us. And I'll then assemble a deck using those new Pokemon cards, whatever new trainers we get if they're applicable, and any new special energy. Tossing in some other standard, uh, standard format trainer cards to try to uh, boost up the deck a little bit. Then I'm going to go through a computer training testing thing to see how well we do with that deck. And I do want to see for a change you folks are always talking about those event tickets that i have i'm gonna jump into a tournament to use the deck that i assemble just to see how far we can get with it then time permitting i only gonna go for about an hour maybe an hour and a half tonight because i'm a little bit on the headachey side just so you know but if there's time permitting at the end of all that we'll do a couple of matches with some of you folks there out there i mean maybe you folks have some of the new team up cards you want to use as well uh let's see uh, the Eevee in the Team Up Booster art looks like, looks really cute. Doesn't it though? And look at the, look at the Zekrom. I don't know if you can see the detail or not, but it's got this really, they all have that look actually. It's like, I want to say it's almost like pencil crayon drawn that they've done. They have a, like a texture to them. And it is very beautiful indeed, Sailor Pika. Very, uh, very shiny, says Sark, the special rainbow rare Latios Latios. And tonight's going to be your first experience with the plant that munches on fighters and ultimates, says Dazzling Shell. That is the plant of the piranhas you refer to. I've seen some of my classmates making use of that in their copy of Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. I love the fact piranha plant is a fighter. Not just because, like another classmate was saying, why a piranha plant? Why not PD Piranha, a specific named character of the species? Good question. I don't know, but I just love how it's a generic member of the piranha plant species that is playable, as opposed to a specific one. 
Like, think if they had, instead of King Koopa, instead of Bowser, what if they just had a Koopa Troopa? I would kind of like that myself. All right, anyway, let's go ahead and jump into my collection here. I have already gotten a bunch of those booster packs. And let's see what we get. Now, do you folks think we're going to get a Pokemon GX card? Do you think we're going to get any full arts, any rainbow rares, anything of the sort? Hello, Alex. Welcome to our day one coverage of the Team Up expansion here online. We're going to open up our 10 booster packs. I'm going to assemble a deck with you folks, throw in some suggestions my way, and I'm going to jump into an event, a tournament, see how far can I get with it, and then we'll do some matches with some of the viewers out there, depending on how long things go for. All right, this is it. Let's see some lab coats and some uh, Charizard hats in the chat, maybe for good luck. Let's go. I'm going to open up five of these packs, and then I'm going to take a brief little break and do something else a little bit special. So we have, I think we've seen a lot of the commons already. We're going to focus on the trainer cards and maybe the uncommons. We have Electro Charger. Flip two coins for each head. Shuffle an Electro Power card from your discard pile into your deck. We have the Water Memory for a Sil Valley GX. we got Brock's Grit. Shuffle six in any combination of Pokemon and basic energy cards from your discard pile into your deck. I like that. The rare card is... We got Mimikyu, it ain't a GX. Mimikyu, Filch can draw two cards, and Copycat, if this, sorry, if your Pokemon's, if your opponent's Pokemon use an attack that isn't a GX attack during their last turn, use it as this attack. Okay, nice. Let's go ahead and pop open the second booster pack. And who's in the chat now? The good luck is coming in, thank you folks. Team Up isn't available for tournaments. Aww. Well, if that's true, then we'll just do some regular trainer battles with some of the folks out there. I might just do some versus battles, actually, too. Just random opponents. Good luck, thank you, from Charles Jones. And Popular Girl says, oof. <laughs> All right, we got... What are you? I like abilities. Evolutionary advantage. If I go second, my Pokemon can evolve during the first turn. Well, that guy can. We've got Evelyn. You can play this card only if your opponent's Pokemon... Active Pokemon is a stage one. Draw four cards. Not bad. Jasmine is a good first turn supporter. Search your deck for a metal Pokemon. Put it in your hand. But if you go second and it's your first turn, shuffle. Nope. Search for five metal Pokemon, then shuffle. We've seen a lot of Rapidash in the pre-release video. We got the Reverse Foil Jasmine. Rare card. Lola Nine Tails. Ooh, not bad. Luminous Barrier. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon by the opposing GX or EX Pokemon. I like that. Nice defensive. All right, let's open another booster pack. Boom. I like going back to this screen here because you get the fun of tearing that pack open. All right, let's see what we can get here. We've got a bunch of more of the commons. Ah, ability, hang on. Floating Shell. If Squir Squirrel says, if I have a stadium card in play, he has no retreat cost. Nice. We got Jinx. We got, look at Hitmonlee's art. Man, he's really slimmed down in the waist, hasn't he? We have Tora Cat, we have Almanite, Reverse, sorry, that's a Reverse Wolf. Rare is Primate. All right, we got no GXs yet, you know, it's okay, maybe. All right, let's see what we can get out of the fourth pack. Now remember, some of you folks that have answered the question of the day for the pre-release, I did send you your codes. For those that I didn't have a connection with yet on YouTube as far as sending direct messages, I left you a way to contact me, set up a friend connection, and then I'll send you the codes after the stream is complete. We've got the unidentified fossil as a reverse foil. The rare card is... We got a GX. All right. It is Incineroar GX. Scar change ability once during your turn. I may put three damage counters on this Pokemon, and if I do, search my deck for up to three darkness energy cards and attach them to this Pokemon. Kind of nice. Crushing Punch does 130 and discards special energy from the opponent's active. Darkest Tornado GX is 10 plus. This does 50 more damage for each damage counter on this Pokemon. So, that is good. If we get the Scar change ability, that's three damage counters. We're going to put three energy on to power that up. It's already got three damage. So that's 160 total damage being done. So we got us a GX. All right, not too bad. Maybe not one of the easiest to get into play, but we're going to hope for the best. All right, let's open up the fifth pack right now. I'll take a brief, slight intermission once that happens, and I'll tell you why as we take that little break. Okay, we got Reverse Foil Tentacruel. Uh, the rare card is going to be a Zoroark with Taunt. Switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with the active. Night Punishment. 20 damage for each Pokemon in your discard pile. You can't do more than 200 damage in this way. So that... 
I think it's called Night Punishment because it could go well with the Night March. Because you got discarded Pokemon to use Night March. Night Punishment can power that up a little bit. Okay. Not bad. So now a brief little break because this being day one of Team Up, I'm going to give you folks some codes. I have a couple codes I've typed in ahead of time. I've prepared for this. I also made sure that my face cam or my uh, X split is going to let me put text in. So I'm going to drop a little comment in the chat. Codes incoming. I'm going to say in chat. Oops, I spelled that wrong. In chat and under face cam. Just so you folks know, because I know there's a bit of a delay from what I'm saying as opposed to what you're seeing. All right, the first one I'm going to put under the face cam. So get ready to type as fast as you can. Where is it? Where's my text? There it is. I didn't even think, can I even paste in here? Yes, I can. Excellent stuff. So the first code for one of our Team Up Booster Packs is right down there. Whoever can type that in the quickest, get yourself a new Team Up Booster Pack. And I'm going to put another one in the chat. Let me just grab it here. And, 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 boom. Code number two is now given in the chat. So help yourselves, folks, whoever can grab that. Uh, let's see, Alola Ninetales ain't bad, says Poplio Girl. Sailor Pika says, nice. I'm thinking for the, uh, the Alola Ninetales. And Stark says, it's the same online as in real life. We have to wait two weeks or whatever for the, uh, the tournament. I guess, yeah. Well, so when I logged in, it said something weird about how Whale Lord and Magikarp GX are usable. Like, they're incorrectly said they can't be used yet. So, I'm going to blame that for messing me up. Super Saiyan Primate says Alex, indeed. Like, he looks just so soaked. His his hair is all, like, you know, matted and stuff. Awesome Incineroar GX card, indeed. Popular Girl says yay as well. Rare item from, what's that, Breath of the Wild. GX, what? I'm not sure what that is. And Popular Girl, you can't redeem the codes. Ah. So other people can snag them, of course, as you say. All right, now let's get back to opening up my boosters. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to erase the codes I've given out so I can keep track of that. All right, next pack. We're open. We've got five more to go. wonder what kind of deck we can assemble. Let's see what we got from this one. we got the Alolan Grimer. We've got Ingo and Emmett. I mean, we have the full art IRL, but whatever. That's kind of cool, though. Look at the top card of the deck and then choose one. Discard the hand and draw five from the top, including the one that you looked at, or discard your hand and draw five from the bottom instead, if you don't like the one you looked at. We have Morgan, the other battle shadow lane. You can play this card only if you discard Dana, Evelyn, and Nita from your hand. Look at the top 12 cards of your deck and attach any number of energy cards you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like. Shuffle the other cards back in. Not bad. It does cost you a lot of supporter cards and a lot of unique ones to be getting in your hand, but it could come in handy. We have the Reverse Foil Bronzor, and the rare card is going to be Absol. Dark Ambition. If your opponent's active Pokemon is a basic Pokemon, its retreat cost is one colorless more. Shadow Seeker, 30+. plus. This does 30 more damage for each colorless energy in your opponent's active Pokemon's retreat cost. So it makes them slower to retreat and hits them harder for that. Interesting, but it only counts for like a basic to boost up that retreat cost, so kind of situational. But some GXs are basic, so people could be using them. All right, pack number this is seven, I believe. What's your ability? Dratini with defensive scales prevent all effects of your opponent's attacks except damage done to this Pokemon. That's cool. <laughs> you guys see the attack name? I'm going to leave that on screen for a second. Magikarp can enter the dragon. Flip a coin, give heads, put a card that evolves from this Pokemon from your discard pile onto this Pokemon to evolve it. Gyarados, of course, but it could also be Gyarados GX. That's interesting. All right, we got Dangerous Drill. You can play this card only if you discard a Darkness Pokemon from your hand, discard a Pokemon tool or special energy card from one of your Pokemon, or discard any Stadium card in play. All right, the rare card we're going to get is... Kabutops with the fossilized memories. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, your opponent can't play any supporter cards from their hand. Very nice. Rock Slide does 80 and 20 damage to two of your opponent's benched Pokemon. All right. So we got three packs remaining to go. Let's go ahead and rip these open. By the way, anyone that did get those codes that I put on screen, which I'll take this one off now, let us know in the chat what did you get? Any GXs or anything? 
I'm hoping you folks can get some good stuff. I mean, better than I'm getting. I did get a GX, but I kind of want more than just the one. Oh, we might have something good. We got two secret ones here. Viridian Forest. Once during each player's turn, that player may discard a card from their hand. If they do, that player searches their deck for a basic energy card, reveals it, and puts it into their hand. Very nice. Kind of swapping a dud card for energy. Not bad at all. Spirit Compressor. Search your deck for four Pokemon and discard them. That could also work with the Night March, I guess. Okay, the Reverse Foil is... Not a Reverse Foil. It is a Prism Star, just like I did in the pre-release. It was supposed to be a Reverse Foil, but we got a Prism Star Shaman. Flower Storm 30 times the amount of basic energy attached to all of your Pokemon. That works well with that Venusaur with Jungle Totem. And the other rare card is going to be... Amanda Buzz. With the Trash Crash Attack. Discard an item from your hand. If you do, it does 60 damage to one of your opponent's Pokemon. Could hit the bench, which I like. Brave Bird does 120 and 30 to itself. Alright, we got two packs left to go. Let's see, we got a Prism Star. We got a Pokemon GX. I'm kind of happy with that. If we get a full art, I won't complain. I'll just say that right now. We have a Cosmog with Cosmic Guard. As long as it's on the bench, prevent damage done to it. We also got Cosmo M as the reverse foil. The rare card is going to be Tyranitar. Spinning Tail. This does 30 damage to each of your opponent's Pokemon. Very good. And Bite Off for 130. If the opponent's active is a GX or EX, it does another 100 damage. Given the fact that we got Incineroar GX, I kind of want to make a Darkness deck. Maybe today we'll make a Darkness and Grass type deck because I want to try to use that Shaman as well. So that's kind of good. All right, the last pack we're going to open up right here, and then I'll check the chat again and get caught up. Let's see what we get on day one of the expansion for Team Up. Hit one channel looking kind of sad over there. Ooh, what's this? Grass memory. So Valley GX become a grass type. Reverse foil, a rapid dash. The last rare card is. Come on, let's see some luck. Give me some good luck in the chat there. What do we get? What do we get? I got Aerodactyl. What do you do? Supersonic confuses. Fossil Fangs. 90 plus. If I don't have any Pokemon GX or EX on my bench, I do 90 more damage. 180 for three energy. That ain't bad. Although, you could combine that with that Venusaur, with Jungle Totem, give this only two grass energy. You could be attacking for two energy for 180. That's kind of decent. If you could find some way to add more HP to that as well. Like the, uh... Well, Fighting Fury Belt only does basics, right? But hey, that's a lot of damage for a non-EX. That's almost as much as everyone's favorite... Darchomp of Cynthia's can do. Alright, so that's what I got. I'm going to start doing a deck building in just a sec, but let's see what's happening in the chat. Popular Girl's asking, when is the next online battle stream going to be? Probably not for like about a week or two, because I still got to work on getting the next Pokemon bred up. At this point, with me being in my classes, we're going to have to space it out once every few weeks, once every month or so. We'll be doing an online battle stream for the prizes following that. In fact, tomorrow night we have our Wonder Trading session to start giving out some of those Ralts through the Wonder Trade. And Dazzling Show, whenever you get a GX from a pack... You get you get the other two when you get a secret or rainbow rare. And enter the dragon indeed, Sailor Pika. Popular Girl has an absolute that makes the opponent have one more turn before insta-killing their, their Pokemon. Interesting. Sark's fingers were the quickest, and you got an Amistar from the pack. The Absol from Guardians Rising is OP. What does that one do again? I cannot recall. So we got uh, Tyranitar, Aerodactyl indeed. Hello to Jennifer Vlogs1. Bodybuilding dumbbells, right, Sark? That is for stage one Pokemon, adding another 40 HP, I think it is. And Jennifer Vlogs, say you get Gen 4? Well, yeah, some more Gen 4 Pokemon are out, actually, in Pokemon Go. All right, for the time being, let's go to the deck manager. Let's see what we can assemble. So we didn't... Did we get any... Did we get some Toracat? And I did we get any Litten? I don't know. So we're going to create a new deck. We'll go Standard. We've got all our new cards right here. So I do want to pop in the Shaman. It would be a shame not to, you know. Um, don't really know if I'm going to put any more Grass types in here. Because we don't have, any, don't have any evolutions for them as a thing. I could go for Colorless Pokemon, though. So let's definitely look for... Oh, we don't have any Litten. You know what? I'm going to throw some Litten from earlier sets in here. I don't care. We want to see the GX in play, right? 
So Torracat, Roar switches the opponent's Pokemon around, their choice, and Claw Slash for 60. We'll put you guys both in here. Do we have any other types of Pokemon that don't take... If they take colorless energy. Headache? Eh, Psyduck? Nah, you're not going to do too good. But let's see. You need electric energy. You need electric energy. We could go for... That's actually kind of decent. One energy doing 20 from a basic. As far as basics go, that's not that bad. Oh, you got Combi. Awesome stuff. I did see one in the nearby when I was in the uptown area during my class, but it was during class. And I couldn't quite go out and get it, but I figured Combi's probably going to be plenty common eventually. Uh, Nidorans. Uh, search your deck for a basic Pokemon, put it onto your bench. I might put those in just to speed things up. A couple of them. And actually, yeah, we can use Scratch for just two of any energy as well. Um... Anything else that helps us search for things? We could mumble for 10. <laughs> I think we're good on that, though. Uh, we don't... Well, I do, uh, do want to put in the fossil to try to use that Aerodactyl, because that would be kind of cool. It does take colorless energy, of course. Um, we'll go chip away. Does a basic 30. Oh, if they have exactly one prize left, we do like 90 more, but that's a pretty bad spot to be in, so we're not going to aim to be there. Uh, actually, what am I doing? We do need to add Pupitar. And Larvitar. We gotta get Ty. Ooh, that's Grimer. We wanna get Tyranitar. Not a very good combination 2 1 1, but I'll go with it. Uh, Spirit Compressor. I can discard my basics. Don't wanna do that. If we're gonna be using Darkness Energy, though, I should take a look at these guys. Shadow Seeker. I could just put Absol in. I don't wanna overload too many Pokemon, though. Here's the thing. Howl in the Dark. Search your deck for up to two Darkness Pokemon. You'll be able to put them into your hand. Well, I'll tell you what. Yeah. That wouldn't be bad. Because that can help me find my evolutions. Uh, we're going to get our Incineroar GX. Definitely going to get some Litten in here as well. And I think... Let's go Aerodactyl. I think that's probably all we're going to put for Pokemon other than a couple of Littens. Let's grab some of those. Let's grab... We don't really want to focus on fire energy. Well, the thing is, none of them are going to be able to attack. Because we need fire energy. And we're only going to put darkness and grass in this deck. So... One of each, I guess. Two, two, one. That's 15 Pokemon. I say that's pretty good. Alright, let's go with some fire energy. No, not fire. Grass. What am I thinking? So, we need at least two to use Shaman's Attack. I'm going to put... Four or five? Definitely want to put a lot of darkness in here as well. Let's go with... I'm going to go nine darkness, five grass. Just to uh, give us not quite a whole quarter of the deck, but almost close to it. Hello, Team Rocket Admin Pumpkin. Welcome to our Team Up live stream for some day one coverage of this new expansion for TCG. And yes, yeah, Sark says use some of the older cards as well. So we put a couple Litten in. So I want to try out Brock's Grit. I actually do want to put in all the new cards that could be useful. I can discard a Darkness Pokemon from my hand. Well, we have a few of them now, so I can put that in Dangerous Drill. Electro Charger. Now, this is a new item or new trainer card that I've gotten, but I'm not going to put it in because it has no effect for us. Flip two coins for each head. Shuffle an Electro Power back in, which we're not even using, so I'm skipping by that. And I'll put Evelyn in. I got an itchy eyeball. That's fine. And going Emmett, we'll give you a shot. I'm not going to use Jasmine because, of course, I have no metal Pokemon either. And Morgan, no. I don't really have the other ones to make use of to uh, even play you. So, no thank you. We'll put the Unidentified Fossil. We'll put Viridian Forest. Okay, let's start scrolling back a little bit earlier. Do you guys have any suggestions for trainer cards? If you do, let me know which ones and I'll start tossing those in. I know there's some basic staples such as Cynthia, of course, is a good one. In fact, I probably will put some Cynthias in. But uh, let me know if you guys have any recommendations for what to put in. Meanwhile, let's just scroll through here. Uh, Whitney... Maybe. Professor Elm's lecture. Don't know if that would help us that much. I'm just going to keep scrolling through. If anything catches my eye, I will go for it. What does he do again, Hiker? Look at the top five cards of either player's deck. Choose one of them. That player shuffles the other cards back in, then put that card on top. Eh. Last chance potion. Heal 120 damage from one of your Pokemon that has 30 HP or less remaining. 
I haven't even used that. I can give that a try. I'll toss that in for now. We've got Life Herb. We've got the Master Royal. That might not be bad. Butterfree from Sun and Moon and Alolan Raichu from Crimson Invasion are good cards, says Dazzling Shell. Possibly, but I don't know if we're going to put them in this particular deck. I am going to put some rare candies, though. Because we can try to skip past the uh, Tora Cat line immediately. Which would be great if we have Litten and Poochyena finds us some of our Darkness Pokemon. I wouldn't say no to that, indeed. Alright, back to the trainer cards. Um, should I do Pokenav? Look at the top three cards of the deck. Choose a Pokemon or an Energy card you find there and put it into your hand. Lily says Sailor Pika. Okay, I'll definitely put in some Lily. So a couple of Lily cards. I'm going to put the Pokenav. I've never used it. This is, as I always say, day one. Well, in general, I'm not a competitive player, but day one is the least competitive I can possibly be. I just put in stuff that might be fun to use. Given all effects of the opponent's attacks, including damage done to both sides bench Pokemon, I'm going to put a couple of them in because I don't think I'm using anyone that hits the bench. Put in a couple of standard switch cards. Why not? Tate and Liza is a good one. I'll put... I'll go one of them, I think, for now. Uh, TV Reporter. Draw three cards, then discard one from your hand. I'll toss one of them in there. Underground Expedition might be nice. Absol from Guardians Rising. The second attack is the one to watch out for. I'll see if I can find that once we're done putting this deck together here. Fossil Excavation Map. I might as well do that. That could help us find our fossil a little bit quickly. A quickie. Quick, quicklier. If I could speak clear. Uh, lady. Well, don't really think we need Lady, because if we can get Incineroar in play, its ability attaches energies onto it. So that should be fine. I'll put a Judge. Metal Frying Pan. We have no uh, Metal Pokemon, so that's not going to help us. Mysterious Treasure. Looks for Psychic or Dragon, so that's not going to help us. There's another Unidentified Fossil. I'll put a second one just to be sure. Just try to be safe. Okay, Cynthia. I'll put a couple Cynthia in. we got no other tools. I'll put some Escape Boards. Heal 80 damage from one of your Pokemon that has any Grass Energy attached to it. What's the HP on Shaman? Well, that doesn't help us. It's already only have, has 80. Let's put a couple of Lily in the deck. Um, I forgot Fan Club is standard again now, too. Okay. Dash and Pouch. If we retreat, discarding energy for the re, uh, retreat cost, put the energy into your hand instead of the discard pile. I might as well put some of them in. Another one of those things that I haven't used yet. That might be good. Devoured Field, Darkness Pokemon doing 10 more damage. I don't want a couple of them. Okay, we've got space for two more cards. Let's just go with... What are some of my... Oh, wait. I know what one of my standard ones is. I'm going to put in a couple of Guzma. Every deck needs at least one Guzma. All right, so we're going to call that a deck. Let's do a quick overview of it here. Uh, how do I do that? Right there. So we're going to focus on, of course, trying to get our Incineroar into play, because that is our GX of the day. Also see if we can get Tyranitar, because Bite Off would be pretty good if we see any opposing EXs or GXs. It's going to take a lot of energy to power it up. In fact, hang on. What am I thinking? Let's go to the energy. I'm going to take out one of each of these. Let's get us a couple of double colorless energies. I am a fool for not thinking of that. Let's put in some fancy looking ones. All right. I think that might be good. Popular Girl's going to play some Smash while you watch, since you have your Switch just sitting there. Yeah, it makes sense. It wants to be played. It wants to have fun. Hello to Luis Hernandez. Welcome to our stream tonight. I'm going to call this TU for Team Up. Premiere, I'll just say. All right, let's save this up. I'm going to go into a computer test and see just how well does this go. I'm going to star it so it's near the top of the list as well. That's one of the things when a new set comes out, i got to change the numbers of all of my decks so I can push them down to earlier, or sorry, well, yeah, earlier, older expansions. All right, let's see what our new deck can do against a computer. Hello, Tyson. Wish me luck, everybody. Of course, the computers are not really challenging. So, wait a minute. Before I do this, we don't mulligan. They mulligan. Sweet. Now, before we do this, I'm going to give you guys some more codes. Hold, hold tight. In fact, wait, i got to tell you. More codes incoming. Boom. 
I'm going to put one in the chat first, I think. Switch things up a little bit. And again, if you guys get anything amazing out of these cards, hopefully you can let us know in the chat what they were. So there's one in the chat right now. We're going to put another one on screen under the face cam. And boom, they are good to go. And take these out. And boom. Hello to City. Thank you for the wishes of good luck versus our computer opponent. Sometimes these don't actually work that well. Do they had they had to they had to take a mulligan, have no basics. I'm not going to take my mulligan cards, of course. So all we have to start off with is our little shaman. What a shame, man. Uh actually this is not bad. We have the fossil excavation map, I guess. And we have an Aerodactyl in hand. We won't take the extra card. All right, we got a double colorless, which is nice. We're going to use the fossil excavation map. Get ourselves one of those unidentified fossils. Let's get that nice reverse foil one, just because. And play it out. Down it goes. We can't, of course, evolve just yet. We've got to wait. Hmm. What I like about this dashing pouch, it doesn't specify basic energy. So if the Pokemon this card is attached to discards energy for its retreat cost, put that energy into your hand instead of the discard pile. We could not. We could like bring back special energy too. Don't need to in this case because Shaman is a free retreat Pokemon, which I just looked at. We are going to put this onto our Aerodactyl. And I'm going to play the Devoured Field. What's the retreat cost in Aerodactyl? It's one. I think that's good to play out. I was going to play one more card to get maximum Lily draw support, but let's just play her right now. Let's get We're getting five more cards. We have the Incineroar GX. We got a skateboard. I'm going to say that is done. All right, next turn we can play Cynthia and get myself a new hand of cards. All right, what do you got? You're going to Vine Whip me for 10? You're weak to lightning, right? Yes, you are. Okay, Great Ball from Tyson is a Bell Sprout. Nothing much to worry about here. This is pretty basic stuff, as you would expect. What time is it? We are only a half hour in. We're doing good. TV reporter. Well, first of all, Aerodactyl. Second of all, I am going to actually play Cynthia. First, we're going to put an escape board on our Aerodactyl for the uh, free retreat now. It's one less retreat cost. It's only got one in the retreat cost, so yeah. It retreats for free if necessary. We now have... A call for family. Now we can start doing some damage with Aerodactyl. In fact, we could do a lot of damage with Aerodactyl. 180. The smart play is to power up Aerodactyl and start going for the knockouts, but I want to see if we can get some of our bigger, heavier hitters in play. So I'm going to retreat to our Nidoran female and call for the family, please. Let's get uh, one of our Litten. Guess what we don't have in the uh, the deck? We don't have... What am I saying? Yeah, we have Larvitar. I'm dumb. We'll still get Litten here, though. Does it go to the bench? Yes, it does. Okay, basic onto the bench. All right. Next turn, we can get our Larvitar on the bench and start getting Tyranitar prepared, hopefully. Fine, with a whopping 10 damage. I'm glad they didn't do the knockoff. That would have lost us something. All right. Go to Aerodactyl. Eh... Go to Aerodactyl. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and Tate and Lizer right now because we don't have access to get the stage ones for evolution just yet. So we're gonna shuffle the hand and draw five. Hopefully we can get ourselves maybe oh, Poochiana wouldn't be bad. Oh, Poochiana would really not be bad right now. So what we're gonna do? Call for family. Let's get Poochiana on the field. Here's what I'm thinking. Next turn, I can retreat, bring up Poochiana, give it a Darkness Energy. Howl in the Dark finds me two Darkness Pokemon, one of which could be Incineroar GX. That lets us Rare Candy into Incineroar GX. See what I'm thinking? All right, let us... Do I want to do this? I'm not discarding my hand. Never mind. No, forget that. We're going to retreat into Poochiana. Let's attach this to Poochiana to power up the attack. I could shuffle back energy, too. I forgot. Um, but for right now, we're going to Howl in the Dark. I want this big guy, and... Uh, 
I'll get this big guy. Why not? You need two festival coins for the next rank dazzling shell. Oh, you'll get there. Just do a quick little uh, one of those missions. Those usually give a, a fair amount of coinage. All right, now rare candy. So we're gonna go up into Incineroar GX. And without any further ado, well, first let's use Scar Charge. Ow! Okay, three energy. And I didn't even point out that the what is it? Crushing Punch, I think it's called. Crushing Punch does 130. That's a decent amount of damage. Okay, retreat. So we can start getting some GX powers. This is Wally's theme, indeed, Popular Girl. I'm gonna take that code off under the screen there. Um. We'll start powering up our Shaman. And let's do that Crushing Punch. 130. I mean, there's more powerful... Actually, 140 it should be with the Stadium. There's more powerful GX Pokemon out there, but... That's not bad, especially when we start... Oh. I mean, I'm not really scared. Can't play any Stadium cards. Ah, oh, teammates! No, they're gonna win now. See, they got Letty in. What do we do? We win what we do. Um, let's give this to our Shaman. I'm going to go ahead and play the Judge. Let's shuffle away. Yeah, I'm going to play it. I like how the game lets you know. That's a mistake if you're going to do that, but I'm okay with it. And a Dashing Pouch. I mm, don't really need to use that at the moment. Let's go ahead and... I mean, I could Scar Charge to add more to our Darkest Tornado. I'll save that as a last-ditch effort. Try to add more power. Another 140. Down goes the Ninetales. So, not much more to be said about this here. It's going to play out pretty basically. I might want to try to finish off with the Darkest Tornado GX. That'd be kind of fun. Oh, tackle! Great! Now I'm doing is that 310 damage with my GX move. 320 with that Stadium in play. I want Larvitar though. Let's do this. TV reporter, draw three. I didn't get Larvitar? I'm gonna discard the Nidoran female. We already have one, plus it's kinda done its job for the time being. So let's go crushing punch once again. If I could get Larvitar on the bench here. We got a Pupitar. I might want to retreat in Cinero and let uh, Tyranitar have some fun. If we can get it evolved up. And that's kind of a big if at this point. <laughs> Popular girl, you're no good at Smash? Well, I mean, as long as you have fun, that's the most important thing to any video game. Don't you think? Alright, we got a Grass Energy. Not quite what we were looking for. Oh, I gotta put them back however I want. Let's do Guzma. Um... You know, to be honest, I just kind of want to play Cynthia. Let's do it. Let's shuffle away. Yeah, I'm losing all those cards, but... I don't mind. If we can get our Larvitar, which we do, I'll take it. Double colorless, we'll give that to Larvitar, because of course, Tyranitar needs a couple of those colorlesses. And let's go with the Crushing Punch. 130. Are we even going to get Tyranitar in play? I don't know. Look, another Larvitar. I guess the other one was just locked in the prizes. We only put two in, I believe. Uh-oh, the hard charm, eh? Ow! What, how much are we going to do when we finally get our uh, GX move fired off? It's going to be fun. Oh, wait, we can do this. Evelyn pulling through for us. Nice. Well, we didn't get what we wanted, but, I mean, crushing punch. All right, you guys ready for this big, massive hit? Because I'm going to use my Scar Charge first to put more damage on myself. Oh, this poor Lediba. This poor Lediba. This is like when I used Ultra Necrozma's uh, light that burns the sky in the uh, Pokemon Ultra Sun playthrough, isn't it? This poor Lediba. Oh. It was kind of fun. Alright. Let's do this. Darkest Tornado GX. 600 damage. Would have been 620 if not for the Heart Charm. Alright, well, against a computer player, obviously, it's not bad. But I'm going to do a battle versus a random opponent online first, before we do any uh, viewer battles right here. I'm going to throw a couple of codes on screen here for you, though. 
So I think we'll be right back. Well, she might be able to grab one of these when she gets back. If not, help yourselves, guys. Codes incoming. Okay. Let's grab this one. This one's going under the face cam first this time. Back all this out. And there is a code down there for you. And another one going into the chat. So I can get it put in there. Boom. Help yourselves to some Team Up Booster Packs. Alright, let's see what's going on here. Uh, Dazzling Shell has cleared World of Light 100%, but you also cleared Classic at 9.9. .9. I'm not sure what the 9.9 .9 means, but I've some of my classmates that play Smash Ultimate, they were talking about getting the 9.9, .9, and I'm just like, I assume it's a good thing that you're trying for. Uh, Popular Girl is not a fan. Oh wait, not a fan, I've read that wrong. You only have World of Light at 100% on easy since you were raging at one inkling level. Isn't that fun? One stage just messes you up. Alright, you're at 107 for your Festival Plaza. Not bad, Dazzling Shell, indeed. Alright, now the test. Let's go to Versus. I haven't done a Versus in forever. Does that mean I'm going to lose? Possibly. In this mode, you play with constructed decks you built in the Deck Manager. If you're not ready for that, you can always play with the theme decks. Bye. Okay. Let's just do this. Let's see what we can do. Random chance of me actually pulling through with anything here. But you never know. Things could play out right. Unless we see the Lucario Garchomp combo. Because Zone Do 007 could destroy me quite easily with that busted combo. Alright. Who gets the first turn? They do. We got very subdued music for this. Subdued for Zone Dude. Interesting. Litten, get up there. See what they have to work with. Okay, no additional basics for me, of course. Let's see. Oh, no basics for them either. Oranguru. Not a perfectly good start. You kind of want to have that on your bench for draw support, but we got us a Zapdos with the Thunderous Assault. We're going to see a Floatstone, perhaps, because Zapdos with Floatstone could be really good. If it can retreat to the bench, it says if this Pokemon was on the bench, became active during this turn, you do 70 more for one energy. Oh boy. Zero Aura GX. Each of your Pokemon that has any. Oh, that's actually. Forget the Floatstone. Zero Aura GX provides free retreat for any Pokemon that have Lightning Energy attached to them. That's good. It's definitely good. So, first of all, let's give this to Litten. I'll give it an escape board just to get a card out of my hand. Let us. Drop a Devoured Field. Sark got Ampharos GX from the pack. Very good. God, I could help you with that there. And... I think we're done. If they have a Lightning Energy to put on Oranguru, they win with an 80 damage Thunderous Assault. What's with that heart, buddy? Play the Energy. Now, what does that do, Sightseer? Discard any number of cards from your hand, then draw till you have five in your hand. Don't waste my time, Zone Dude. You're on YouTube right now. Everyone can see what you're doing. Okay. That works. I mean, you didn't need to do any of this. You could have played one Lightning Energy from your hand to your Oranguru. Why are you playing all these cards? Right there, you just needed to hit me once. What was that? I'm trying another random battle. That was crazy. Okay, hang on, what do I miss? So, Restless Thoughts, you're welcome for the code and for the stream. You're glad to have finally caught me live for the first time. Awesome. Thanks for joining in. Glad to have you here. Congrats to Sark for the Ampharos GX. Dazzling Shell has played World of Light on normal mode. And we got Giant KOer. Who is that? Is that for Donkey Kong? Or is that just DKOer? I don't know. Alright, our first attempt failed. I'll try one more random, and then I'll start sitting back and letting you folks send some battles my way. Let's see if you can take down the overwhelming power of Incineroar GX, which you just saw is nothing. Hang on, I know what the problem is. I need battle music. That'll do. It's the uh, team admin of Team Aqua or Team Magma. Matitude01. The original Matitude is here, folks. We lose the coin flip. Now all we need is a mulligan, and our game is complete. Rats, we got a Pokemon. I mean, 
I really shouldn't complain. All right, we have the fossil. We're going first as well. Okay, so we got the Pokenav, which could be useful. Gibble. Oh, we're going to have one of the Garchomp decks, aren't we? Yay. So let's play the Unidentified Fossil. I thought I heard something in my headphones. That's weird. Okay, Pokenav. We've got Toracat, our only option. And I guess we'll put Judge on top so I can reshuffle the hand next. Why does it give you three slots to put the cards back? I guess if you didn't get a Pokemon or an Energy, then you put all three back in the order you want. So we'll put Darkness Energy onto Litten. Um, I'm going to put the Escape Board... Uh, I'm going to wait put the Escape Board later. I'll give the Dashing Pouch to Litten. Okay, we'll call it there. So they wanted me to go first because they're going to be able to use the Ascension of their Gibble to start evolving quickly. That's not going to be fun for us. But we'll have to do what we can do. Okay, so let's go ahead and get Toracat evolved up. We'll put the escape board on the unidentified fossil just in case we get Aerodactyl. I'm going to give it an energy. Let's play Judge. Now, if they have Garchomp in hand, we just pulled a super sneaky maneuver on them. If they didn't, we could have just given them Garchomp. And we can't do anything. That's our turn. Don't get rid of my tools. I mean, they're just kind of there as placeholders, but don't get rid of my tools. That's mean. Okay, we got the Guzma, though. Oh, actually, good. My hand was not great. Give me something I can work with. Give me the Incineroar. No, oh, we got Lily, though. So that might be good. And there's the Garchomp. Do they have the double colorless that they need? Nope, but they can hit anybody for... Is that 50? It's 50! Get out of here with 50 damage. Here, Sky Pillar. That's what I think of that. Um, give this to the Unidentified Fossil. Let's play Lily now. See what we can get. <sighs> I mean, we'll drop another Litten. Doesn't really help us. But... I think next turn I gotta use the Ingo and Emmett. And see what we can do. Pokemon Catcher, you're gonna flip tails. Is there even any reason to play the game anymore? Well, it's all gonna come down to this. They're gonna knock out the fossil. I'm gonna send up Toracat, and we gotta hope we can get ourselves the. Incineroar GX. Diancy's Princess Cheers powering up the fighting type Pokemon attacks. A whopping 220. Alright, let's go, Incineroar. You know we're getting ya. So, first of all. Nah. Let's play the Devoured Field. Uh, let's go ahead and play Ingo and Emmett. Look at the top card of the deck. Double colorless. We don't really need that, so. To maximize the chance of getting Incineroar GX, I'm going to draw from the bottom. Because that's five potential cards that could be Incineroar. None of which were actually what I wanted. We're going to have a Toracat, though. Um, hmm, we do have Pupitar. Now they can hit us on the bench. I'm going to do this. Let's go ahead and give the energy to our Nidoran female. We're going to switch into Nidoran female. Let's use Call for Family. Get us a basic Pokemon. I'm going to grab myself Poochiena. Why not? Next turn. Well, it's already there, but if I can get a Darkness Energy, we can use Howl in the Dark to find our Dark types. Field Blower. Oh, my stadium's gone. Not that it helped me, of course, all that much. Hello to Alam Gear. Welcome to our stream tonight for our Pokemon TCG premiere day of the team-up expansion. Uh, Popular Girl is really casual at the trading card game. You feel like you ruin some person's strategy when you win. I mean, that's the game. That's part of how the game works. Ruining strategies, basically. 
And I would say I'm casual to, in the sense that I don't really play competitively. I play for fun. And despite the fact I'm getting wrecked by, didn't I call it? Garchomp Lucario? Such a creative, unique, never before seen strategy in Pokemon TCG. Nobody's ever thought of this before. Despite the fact I'm losing to the most common combo in the game as of right now, I'm still enjoying it. Ish. Kind of. Alright, we need one energy. Darkness or grass. Come on. Proceed. Fourteen energy cards in the deck. How many did we get out of that? Zero. I'm going to say that's a well-played game, a well-strategized game by Matitude01 for knowing that I was not going to get an energy right when I needed it. Good thinking. All right. <laughs> Sailor Pika is back. Am I destroying lives with my deck? My life? Yeah, actually. Mine counts. Ow! 440 damage. Let's get you up there. Once we get the Incineroar GX, things change. Check this out. Devoured field. Get off my field. Let's get the Lily card out there. Welp. Put a fossil down. Hmm. Let's get near and female down there. Meh. All I need to do is get Poochiana up there. Would you stop playing your trying to punishment? Powering up the uh, damage on EXs and GXs. That ain't fun for me. They've got three prizes left. We still got six. So if you folks are not familiar with the combo, since clearly my deck is not doing anything, I'll show you how broken what the opponent is doing. So first of all, you got Lucario. No, first let's talk about Cynthia. Cynthia is a simple supporter card. Shuffle your hand, draw six cards. Kind of basic. However, Garchomp has the attack of Royal Blades, 100 plus. If you played Cynthia from your hand during this turn, it does 100 more damage. That's a lot of damage. Now, that's, it's you know, you gotta have Cynthia in hand to really do 200 damage. So, are you really gonna have Cynthia in hand? Well, when you have Lucario with Precognitive Aura, once during your turn, if you have Garchomp in play, you may search your deck for a card and take it. Put it into your hand and then shuffle up. So, Lucario finds you Cynthia. And as you just saw while I was talking, if you know you don't happen to have Cynthia, they're all discarded, you can find a pal pad shuffling two supporters back into your from your discard pal back into your deck. You can shuffle back your Cynthia's, then Lucario can find them next time. Isn't that wild? Alright, we got a dangerous drill. Doesn't really help us. Um Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna Guzma. We're gonna up the fossil. We got the Diancy Prism Star up. I'm gonna discard my own fossil. Actually, this is kinda smart. Check this out. Alright, we're going to play the fossil excavation map. Let's bring that fossil back into my hand. <laughs> this actually worked out kinda cool. And I'll play it right back down to my bench, thank you. So now, Howl in the Dark. How are we gonna come back from this. Grab both of my darkness types. Alright, can they retreat the Diancy Prism Star, I wonder? Well, that is the question. Hmm, so what can you do? You can do 130 with the bite off. That's not going to be enough. You know, since we, we're, we're going to lose, what I'm going to do is still, if I do get a chance to use Tora Cats, or sorry, Incineroar GX here. Oh, you got your switch card. Of course you do. And ouch. All right, all right. Enough games, Garchomp. It's time to stop you. We got Tora Cat now on the field. If we were really lucky. Oh, hang on. What does this do again? It's got a tool or special energy. Uh, 
I could discard Tyranitar to get rid of the double colors, but we're going to knock this Garchomp out anyway. If the other Garchomp had come up, I might have decided to do that. But let's go ahead and just evolve into Incineroar GX. I will use... Sorry, I'll evolve into Tyranitar, just because. I'm going to go for the Scar Charge. Ow! And we're going to get those three Darkness Energies. That's the last Darkness Energies we've got. And let's go ahead and play Tate and Eliza. Shuffle the hand and draw five. Look at that, we got the Aerodactyl, cool. Uh, if only we were a little bit more damaged, I could use the Last Chance Potion. Yeah, if they have Cynthia, they can take out the Incineroar. Actually, we are weak to fighting, so even without Cynthia, they still have me taken down. But, I'll give this to you, just in case we happen to pull things off here. Let's use our big Darkest Tornado GX. 410 because I can. It's because I wanted to. There's the Darkness Energy. We can start powering up Tyranitar. Garchomp doesn't come up. Garchomp comes up. We take damage from the Shrine of Punishment. Alright, do they go for the quick knockout? No, they're going to play Cynthia. They're going to get maximum damage. Which I can't fault them for because if they do have an online uh, challenge to do fighting type damage, it makes sense to do the extra damage right there. So that's a win, but we did get a knockout. I took down... A Garchomp and Lucario, well, a Garchomp from the Garchomp Lucario combo. Alright, so I've got how many codes left? I got another four codes to give out. I'm gonna give a couple more right now. Just one sec here. Codes incoming again. Boom. Uh, Incineroar might have been prized, but actually, no, it wasn't. I did manage to get it. And let's see. At least Incineroar destroyed the pesky Garchomp indeed. I'm kind of happy with that. So the first code we're gonna put under the face cam again here. I'm gonna copy this. Paste this in. Hopefully you guys can get some more GX's like the Ampharos GX that Sark got not too long ago. Alright, boom. That's our next code for you. Type it in as quick as you can and get yourself that booster. And a quick copy paste from the chat gives you another potential team up booster pack. So as you guys redeem that, I'm going to sit back, I'm going to head back out here. I'm going to go to the main screen, just to see what the new art looks like. And I'm going to let you folks issue challenges my way. We have a friend request. Who is... where is it? Uh, requests. Restless Thought. Boom! There we go. Accept. So now you can send me a battle invite if you're looking forward to basically destroying me on the battlefield. Because, as I say, the first day doesn't really... To me, it doesn't matter as far as wins and stuff go. Let's just double check, though. I'm going to go to the... Tr not trainer challenge. I want to go to the events. Does it say we can use this deck? <coughs> hey, excuse me. Um, let me hit join now. No, we cannot use it. Does it tell us why exactly? Cards from the newest set aren't tournament legal until they've been out for three weeks. So, right. I believe that was Sark that said that. And not that I didn't believe you. I just want to see what the computer had to say about it. You'll be able to play with this deck soon, but for now, you'll have to pick a different deck. Well, forget you, Rika. No, I want to play with my new cards. You're not going to let me? Done. Sailor Pika wants to beat up my Pokemon. Alrighty, let's do this. Feel free to cheer on Sailor Pika in the chat, folks, because chances are she's going to win. Unless I can luck out. I want to try to get the Tyranitar set up this time. Okay, they are loading up the game. What time is it? Oh, it's been an hour already? I'll go, let's say, maybe three battles tonight. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want to go rest my head a little bit, too. My, I woke up this morning. Actually, I didn't sleep well last night, so when I woke up, my alarm woke me up from my class. My head was, like, throbbing a little bit, so I thought, well, I'm going to set my alarm for a little bit later, go back to sleep. And I woke up after my class had begun. I slept through my second alarm. So, anyway, the whole day, I was just kind of, like, sore in the head and stuff like that. It went away for the most part, but... Not completely. Alright, so Nidoran female leading the pack. Uh, Dazzling Shell, you're looking for the uh, Queen Metroid spirit? Queen Metroid's in Smash Ultimate? That's cool. I like the fact... Okay, I've said before, not a fan of Metroid Other M. That game had a lot of uh, issues to it. However, I did like the fact that it brought back the Metroid Queen. That was cool to see in... 3D, you know, high-definition graphics. And the fight was pretty consistent to how 
it was back in the day, back on the Game Boy. What I didn't like about it was that they don't tell you your power bombs can now be used at this point. Every other power up in the game, you gotta wait for your commander, Adam, to approve it. So the first time you're playing through that part of the game, fighting the Queen Metroid, and, and you roll into a ball, morph ball, in its belly, you don't put a power bomb down, you die. Metroid, the Queen Metroid drains your energy. So my problem with that is, how are you supposed to know your power bombs are unlocked if they don't tell you, like they've told you with every other power up you have in the game? Alright, enough ranting, let's play Lily. Three more cards being drawn, no more basics, uh, okay. If we see a rare candy in the Gardevoir GX, again, I'm pretty much done. But who do we want on the bench? Uh, let's go with, I guess Poochiana wouldn't be bad. And I'm going to go with, uh, to be honest, I want to set up Tyranitar, but Litten, if we can get Incineroar, that sets up so quickly. By the way, I forgot, that's one Pokemon. I'm going for two. Never mind, Poochiana it is. All right. At least we're not going to get, uh, one shot it and lose the game right here. They also have Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu Spirits. That's cool. What do they do, I wonder? Um, I saw... What the? They do have Rare Candy. Oh, it's for Swampert. I do like that power draw, though. You may discard a card to draw three new cards. Very useful. Especially if you have the Mag Cargo also that lets you choose a card from your deck, put it on top. I had a combo like that a while back in... Was it Phantom Forces, I believe? They had... I think Phantom Forces gave us a... What is it called? Slurpuff. Which says, draw a card. But then another, actually, Swampert had an ability... Diving Search, I think. Search your deck for a card, shuffle the deck, and put that card on top. So you could actually use Slurpuff and Swampert as a combo to search your deck, put a card on top, and then draw that card. That was a really cool combination. I see you, Energy. Alright, so now that you have a Stage 1, I can play Evelyn. I'm first going to switch, because I can get two Darkness Pokemon out using Poochiana. Uh, yeah, I'm going to give you the Darkness Energy. Let us play Evelyn and draw four. Not quite what I was hoping to get. Alright, but let's go ahead and Howl in the Dark, choose a couple of Darkness Pokemon. Uh, I'll get the other Poochiana just in case, and I'll get the Incineroar GX. I kind of want to play Tate and Liza to shuffle and draw five, though. So that Howl in the Dark... Well, Howl in the Dark, I can still play down the Poochiana. But that might not have been too helpful for us. Uh-oh, do we see... Do we see the Gardevoir GX coming in? Queen Metroid Spirit was annoying to deal with. It's a battle against a giant King K. Rule. Super armor. It's also a stamina fight. Do they... Ha would it, wouldn't it be cool? What if they had it so that every time he hits you, he gains energy? Like, uh, loses... Or should, you know, I should say gains stamina. Just like the Metroid absorbs energy from its targets. That would have been a cool idea. Infinite Force. Well, see, that's kind of why I wanted the other Poochiana. Just in case we lost one, which we just did. Let's drop the Nidoran female. Let's drop the Poochiana. And let's... Guzma. And we'll send up this uh, Nidoran female. All right. Let us... Energize. Well... Grass? Yeah, I'll go grass. I don't think we're going to get Shaman in here anytime soon. So, let's just go ahead and call for family and get Litten. To the bench you go, Litten. Oh, wait, that's great. Right? Huh? Right. We have Rare Candy. We have Incineroar GX. We can get it in play. So, Infinite Force... 30 times the amount of energy attached to both active Pokemon. 30 times 6? That's a lot of damage. Mm. Oh no. Oh no. Hmm. 
Welp. Okay, so if you're doing, what's that? 30 times 6, that's 180. We would survive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go crazy here. I'm gonna do something ridiculously nuts. So we're gonna rare candy into the Incineroar GX. I'm gonna use the Scar Charge. Um, am I? Slight bit of a risk. If there's only one Darkness Energy in the deck, we won't have enough to attack. I'm gonna go for it though. Scar Charge. Yes, there's plenty of Darkness Energy. I know I put in like what eight. I was still scared it wasn't gonna happen. All right, let's put another one down onto Poochyana just to get another card out of hand because uh, I'm going to play the Sky Pillar. I want to play Tate and Liza, minimize which cards are being shuffled back in so I get more different cards coming out, basically. All right, we have a Cynthia. That's decent. But let us go with Crushing Punch for one. Th well, you resist Darkness, right? I'm going to go Crushing Punch. 110. Definitely second one's not going to knock it out, but Darkest Tornado GX will even if they hit me for the 180. They could do 210, possibly two... F actually, if they do one energy from hand and secret spring, they can knock out Incineroar GX. But I mean, again, this is all just we're, we're just having fun here tonight, right? Yeah, that's the point of it. All right, but do they have the energies needed to do more? I th Not quite, actually. They would have needed two more energy to hit me for the needed damage. Okay, let us Cynthia. See what else we can pick up from the deck. Oh, let's try... Wait a minute. I'm going to play the Viridian Forest. I'm going to use that. Once during each player's turn, we can discard one card from hand. I'll discard the Sky Pillar and find an energy. I'll just grab a Darkness Energy, I suppose. The reason I did that, I'm now going to play the Pokenav, see if we can get a better chance of finding a Pokemon card. That's what I was kind of hoping for, Larvitar. Alright, we'll put Ingo and Emmett on top. I don't know if I'm going to use them next turn or if I want to play the Judge. I probably will play Judge because I don't want to risk losing the rare candy if I can get Tyranitar ready to go. Let's go for the Darkest Tornado GX. That's a lot of damage right there. I've never seen four digits. Ouch. 1,040 damage. And that was resisted, by the way. Look at the. Look, it shows 1150 on that. That is wild. You know what's really bad? You know that last chance potion I put in here? If you have 30 HP or less, you can use it. I've got 40 HP left. This close to being able to heal if I had that potion in hand. Isn't that something? So we have another Litten, which you might think is kind of pointless, because of course we only have one Incineroar GX. But I do have Brock's Grit. I could shuffle it back in if we do lose it. That was quite a bit of damage. <laughs> Sark, OMG. Alright, they got a lot of cards in hand now, too. So the Vulpix could retreat for free. Uh, they need... Actually, Gardevoir can get the knockout. They can retreat the Alolan Vulpix and go for the Infinite Force, which is another two prizes. Or they could just beacon, find whatever Pokemon they want in the deck. <laughs> that was awesome, eh? Restless Thoughts? Yeah, crazy! 1,040. Of course, that is my GX attack. I can't do that again the whole rest of the battle. Tapu Lele. Uh-oh. Okay, there's Ingo and Emma. We're going to play Litten. Uh, I'm going to put this double colorless on the Larvitar. I'm going to play Larvitar as well, just to get it out of my hand. Let's play the Judge. We'll shuffle away. Oh, I just thought of something. Oh, I didn't get it. I was going to say, if I got the potion, I could use my own Scar Charge to put 30 damage on me, then play that potion. That could have worked. But, not just yet. Hmm. Well, I'm going to do this. 
put this on the Incinerator GX. I'm going to retreat into Poochiana. The dashing pouch brings the energy back into my hand. I'm now going to howl in the dark. Where is our Tyranitar? There it is right there. So I might be able to use Tyranitar. We can do 130. We could do 230 if I got rid of my own Incineroar. But with resistance, that's not a knockout to the Gardevoir. We're still going to do a lot of damage, though. <laughs> and we'll be taking a lot of damage as well in return. <laughs> Silver Pig, you forgot you could retreat. I mean, that's alright. It gave me a chance to kind of show something else off here, too. But I still think, based on your your deck synergy, you've got an actual con uh, comprehensive... Com uh, con can't speak. Cohesive deck. Then you're going to win this one for sure. I'm just kind of playing with whatever random stuff I happen to pull off the top of the deck. Okay, so Poochiana is going to drop to the infinite force. Oh, wait, there's the secret spring. The code that was posted in the chat doesn't work, says it's invalid. Uh-oh. Did I typo? I don't think I did. I double-checked these, but let me just take a quick look-see. Not the field blower! I want whatever I have equipped. Uh, let me just see if which code that is. I'll just double check, make sure I typed it in. Excuse me, typed it in properly. Um, it is typed in properly. I'll give it a try myself once we're done this here. I'll see what it says. All right. Without any further ado, let's let Incineroar GX get knocked out, basically. First of all, let's rare candy. I don't think we have the energy actually to uh. Power up. Let's give this a shot, though. Let's go with the Scar Charge. Ow! Only one. Nope, that's not enough. Alright, well... TV Reporter. What do I want to get rid of? I guess the Devoured Field. And, that being the case, we're just going to lose the Incineroar. But that kind of helps us. Somewhat. If only we could do a little bit more damage to the Gardevoir. I should have put Kakui in the deck. That could have added another 20. I wasn't thinking resistance. Because what we could do, once we lose the Incineroar GX, yeah, it's a bad thing. They're going to take two prizes. However, Tyranitar's Bite Off would then be doing 230 minus 20 for its resistance to darkness. Now, if we had, if we do have the Devoured Field, we could do 10 more. That's still not going to be a knock it on the Gardevoir GX. And I'm pretty sure with uh, 7 energy between the two of them, that's a knockout on Tyranitar. But hey, we had fun regardless. Choice Band, Rescue Stretcher. I could have also put Choice Band in the deck too. I wasn't thinking of that. Mysterious Guidance, look for the item cards. Snowy Wind only does 70, which is not bad. Sublimation GX, the opponent's active Pokemon, if it's an Ultra Beast, sorry, it is knocked out. And that is going to add more power to the Ninetales. And that's actually all set up to attack now. Okay, Incineroar does fall. Alright, let's do this. Tyranitar, come on up. I know you're not going to win this, but let's give it a shot anyway. Let us play the Devoured Field. Let us... Discard. Let's see what's on the top. The Excavation Map. I'm going to draw from the bottom. I don't know what we can get if it can help us or not. I don't think anything will. Nope. So let's just go ahead and do what we can. We can do 30 to everything, I guess. But let's just do the bite off. Let's just do as much as we can. Look at that. 10 HP away from knocking out that Gardevoir GX. But they can hit, is it 30 times? 30 times 7, that's 210 damage with the, what is it called, infinite force. Even a little bit more energy could still hurt even more. But, good game, Sailor Pika. This was pretty cool. Like I said, I think you probably you would have had the win earlier if you had done the retreat and knocked someone out earlier. But, at least we got to see a lot of power from the, or the uh, Tyranitar, finally. 
All right, so before we do one more battle challenge, I'm going to briefly... Well, I was going to say, I'm going to briefly turn off the screen so you guys can't see the code. But I put it in the chat, so hang on. Uh, let me give it a shot. It says it's good. You might have maybe copied it in wrong. So it is still good to be claimed there, folks. I'm not going to take it. I'm going to back out. Yes, I don't want to claim that. So that code that's earlier in the chat should still be good. I'm going to repaste it as well. Just make sure you're putting just the uh, the characters there, basically. Don't copy like the spaces or anything. Just uh, do a quick copy-paste. Who has Bowser's Inside Story and Bowser's Journey? Or Bowser Jr.'s Journey? I don't, but I've heard about it. It'll be kind of cool to see. Incineroar can be scary indeed, Sailor Pika. So does anybody else want to do a battle in the chat? Just let me know. We'll probably do maybe... Maybe a couple more. And also, once we end off... So I'll do like up to two more battles. Once we're done, I will give out two final codes for the Team Up expansion. And we'll call it a day. And I'm going to try to go out tomorrow and do some Pokemon Go recording. It's not going to be a live recording kind of thing. It's going to be have to have to be like post-game... Post-game. Post-recording commentary. Because... With the weather the way it is, it's just too cold out. The phones do not stand up well to that kind of weather. Uh, let's go with... We we'll need energy. Put Nidoran up first. But yeah, the I can't do the live recording for Pokemon Go, but I'll record my screen and do some post-commentary afterwards because there's new species in Pokemon Go from Sinnoh out there. I've seen a Combi on my nearby. That's a nice fancy Lily card right there. And I've seen Shield on nearby. I've seen some people have caught Cranidos. Anything else? I'm not sure. But there are new Sinnoh evolutions as well using the Sinnoh stones. I have not done any of them yet. I want to save them for on a video. But also I want to power up my Pokemon before I, you know, use them in a gym battle or a raid battle and evolve them. Because I want to I want to make it more of an event when I evolve things. Alright, energy on to Nidoran female. We see Honedge. That's from the new set too, isn't it? No, it's not. I forget what set that is though. I think it's Forbidden Light. And we have... Oh, no. It's the Garbo Toxin Garbodor. Or it might actually be the Trash Alanche one, because that does a lot of damage, too. But the fact that there's a tool on that Trubbish right now makes me think it's going to have the Garbo Toxin ability. Oh, I'm confused. No. Evolution into Aerodactyl. Let us... What is your attack anyway? Supersonic causes confusion. Let's go for the Pokenav. Jupiter can't play it, sadly. And let's put... Let's do that. Simply because it don't matter who I'm putting on top. We're Tate and liza -ing. We're going to shuffle the hand and draw five. We got us a little Litten. Oh, this is kind of decent. Viridian Forest. Do I want to use it? Yeah, I will discard Nidoran. Let's grab us... Another darkness energy. Oh, I shouldn't get darkness. I want to keep it in the deck for when I happen to maybe find the Tor not Torcat, Incineroar. We'll put this on Poochiena. We're gonna take our chances with the call for family. We got the heads. Not bad. So we have we need a Larvitar down, don't we? Alright, there we go. That's my turn. Uh no Garbo Toxin says Sark. Okay, good. I'm not too scared now. I mean Trash Lanch is still scary though. Flareon EX from Generations is scary with double heat combo from, yes, from Steam Siege. The Incineroar, not Incineroar, I'm thinking too much fire type here. Volcanion GX. Not, it's not even GX back then, it's EX. How many cards are in Lost Thunder? I don't know. Um, do I have any Lost Thunder cards? I think that's it. If that is Lost Thunder, 168 not counting the secret rares. I think that was a Lost Thunder card. The Pokenev. Not sure. And Shorty MC, welcome to the stream. Haven't seen you in a while, man. How is it going? You got the Charmeleon hat now. Cool stuff. It's supposed to be very cold tomorrow. About minus nine in the afternoon. Yeah. I mean, I am hoping to do a little bit of going around. When I say that, I mean, I'm going to be staying indoors, most definitely. But I'm going to see what I can do for doing some recording. Says there's no species out there. Plus, I bought one of the special boxes. Hang on. 
Uh, nah, it'd be a waste. I was gonna do Viridian Forest, discard a dark energy and get a grass, but just to like thin the deck by one card, it's not really worth it. But I got a box that I bought with a bunch of incubators and stuff, and I'm hoping to uh, get myself some cool eggs hatched up tomorrow as well. Okay. Well, tell you what. I've already attached the energy. I was going to do something different. It's too late now. Let us thin out the deck. We're going to Viridian Forest. We're going to get rid of the fossil. Get an energy. Let's grab a grass this time. And we're going to Howl in the Dark, grab ourselves some Darkness type, not you, Pokemon, right there, boom. I sounded like a meme for a second there, didn't I? We're going to grab some, not you, Pokemon, and we're good. Lost Thunder has over 200 cards. Oh, okay, so that wasn't a Lost Thunder card. What was that expansion then, that symbol? I don't know. Most of the time I know the symbols by just experience, but I guess they haven't been out enough for me to realize. Okay, the blade. What are you doing again? Tool drop. 30 damage for each Pokemon tool card attached to all Pokemon. That ain't good. Are we to fire, though? Do I take a chance that I'll get a rare candy? Let's do it. Let's play cautious. Cautious? No, let's play carelessly. Let's see if we can get rare candy. Now first, let us thin the deck again. Viridian Forest, discard. Uh, I'll discard a grass energy. I don't think we're going to get Shaman again in this particular match. But let's discard a grass to take a grass. Radiant Force is all about grass, right? Alright, now, TV Reporter. Come on, find us a rare candy. Got it. Okay, rare candy. Oops. No, no, no. What am I going to discard? I'll get rid of... I guess the grass energy. I'm sorry, grass types. It's got to be done. Rare candy up into Incineroar GX. Okay, let's put a double colorless to the Aerodactyl. Uh, we're going to Scar Charge. Ow, 30 damage. I messed up. I knew I was taking too much Darkness Energy out of there. Quick, get up there, Larvitar. Take a hit. Sweet. We're back in charge. Ish. Kind of. Alright. That Switch card kind of came in handy, though. Yeah, M Sorty MC, you missed a bunch of streams. That's alright, though. You haven't been out and about because it is cold. Indeed. You missed out on some events in Pokemon Go, yeah, but I mean... But basically, take care of yourself. They always say in Pokemon Go, be aware of your surroundings and take care, basically. like I'm usually only out and about because I happen to be going out for the class I'm taking. Many times, I probably would not even leave my part of the uh, city because of the weather and the conditions. And again, I don't know if I said it yet, folks, but they're calling for snow tomorrow. So I want to try to get out early in the morning. So I don't get, uh, you know, trying to catch stuff in the middle of the snow. Ow, ah, tool drop. Okay, so it's doing 120. We can handle 120. Let's get our Incineroar GX up there now. So we get a nice darkness energy. I'm just going to go for... Let's go for the crushing punch. Wait, hang on, hang on. Metal frying pan. Takes 30 less damage, so we're doing 100. We're still doing enough to knock it out, though. Let's just go for the Crushing Punch. Alright, and discard a double colorless from it. Doesn't matter, it's just knocked out regardless. Hey, we got our Larvitar back! Welcome back, Larvitar! Hit that field, man! Help us win this match! Maybe? We're gonna need some more Darkness Energy, aren't we? So we have another Tool Dropper, a Dublade. Oh, but it's got the... Ooh, Choice Band. So it does 30 damage for each tool that's attached, and that is 4. I mean, we're still okay. That's going to do... Oh, I was going to say, was that Lysandre Labs to, dis or to uh, make tools useless? I guess not. So at the most, they're currently doing 150, which we still will survive. Even one more tool on the Ditto is going to be another uh, 30, so we'll survive that as well. 
At least Incineroar can take some knockouts here, though. I'm not a fan of uh, peanut butter hammer sandwiches, actually, Dazzling Shell. So I don't know if it's time for that at all. Just saying. All right, Rescue Stretcher, bring him back. The Tool Dropper? The Tool Dropper. Hey, what's Ditto here for? What do you think, folks? The Almighty Evolution. Very versatile. Ow! Can't even see the damage. Once during your turn, you may put any Stage 1 card from your hand onto this Pokemon to evolve it. Which is kind of cool. Alright, let us play the Larvitar. We're going to put the Skateboard on the Aerodactyl for the free retreat. We're going to give it a Darkness. Uh, do I judge? I don't judge. I'm going to wait. I'm going to play the Devoured Field. Let's get that damaging stadium off my side. Or off our side. Off the side. Off both sides, basically. Let us... Have we lost one yet? I'm going to search the deck. I have lost it. Oh, well. I kind of want to get that card out of my hand anyway. So that next turn, I can play Judge for maximum draw support. You know, when are we going to get the chance to do this again? Let's do the Darkest Tornado. How? I'm just clicking it. Alright, not as much as last time, but a nice 970 damage, though. Dashing Pouch. Yeah, the Tool Drop hurts. However... Once we lose Incineroar GX, Aerodactyl suddenly starts doing a lot of damage. How many double colorless have they lost? Two. So if I can take down the other two, that's going to slow down their attacking with their Dublade. Garbador. Oh no. How many items? One, two, three, four. Five. Only five items. That's not terrible. Cynthia has played for a fresh card, fresh hand of six cards. We got another hone edge down there. Have you lost all those double aids yet, though? There's one in there. All right, two more prizes being taken. It hurts a bit, but Aerodactyl can start doing some serious damage here. Oh wait a minute, no, never mind. They're actually doing more damage because of my tool that's attached. Also, wasn't thinking of that. Okay, let's put double colors to the Larvitar. I'm going to take a chance. Well, we're going to play Puchiana. We're going to play Judge now. Both players shuffling to get four cards. Hey, we got a Shaman. I'll play it. Why not? Kind of wanted to get a Pupitar, but whatever. Let's go for the Fossil Fangs. If I don't have any GXs or EXs, I do 90 more. So that's a nice 150 due to the uh, Metal Crying Pan resistance. Come on, Aerodactyl. You can do this. That's a rare candy that I just picked up. I like it. Spinning Tail does 30 to each of their Pokemon. Hmm. What does you do? Once during your turn, you may discard your hand and draw four cards, I believe. Was that two tails for the flip? I didn't even notice that. Game log. Played. Yeah, they flipped two tails. Oh, that's too bad. Oh, I don't want to export. No. I copied the game log, though. That's good, I guess. You know what? That hurts. Ow. I mean... Even the dumbbells wouldn't have helped me there. I mean, all things considered, good game. Indeed, Sark. Not bad. The tool dropping is serious. There was also... Who was the other tool dropper a while back? They had something similar to that. Not very recently, but some time ago. I remember tool drop was a big thing. I think it might have been Sableye. So tool drop is back with a vengeance, as you just saw. And that ditto helps out too. So think of ditto as being a fifth hone edge. Or, uh, yeah, hone edge to get a, uh, another double aid into play. All right, so for right now... What time is it? It's already 9.30, so it's been about an hour and a half. I'm going to give the last two codes right now. I'm going to... Wait, i got to let you know it's coming. 
Code cards incoming. Last ones. I'll put the first one in the chat. And the last one is going to go under the face cam. And if there's anyone else who wants to do a battle, I'll do one final match for the evening before we sign off for the night. And you guys can have fun. If you've redeemed some more of these uh, codes yourselves, getting some new team-up cards and playing with them. Also, I left some comments for people on the last or the pre-release video to get in touch with me via the uh, YouTube friends connection thing so I can send you the code cards from that video. All right, and the last code is now on screen. It was a tool drop trubbish. All right. In fact, let's go take a look at that. I was going to type in tool drop. Show not owned. There it is. Now, this one's interesting, though. Okay, it's a basic, which is easier to get into play. Does less damage and takes a special kind of energy, a psychic and a colorless. So, despite the fact Double Blade is a stage one, that's probably your better option because it does more damage and it can take a double colorless to use that. So, similar in a way. And this was from one of the Plasma expansions, I believe. Plasma... I don't know. It's not Plasma Freeze, I don't think. But yeah, Tool Drop can be dangerous. Is this from the current expansion? It must be. It says new. Unless I just haven't ever looked at it yet. Actually, you know what? While I wait for another challenge, if anyone is up for that, I'm going to take a look at the entire... It is Team Up. Okay, I'm going to take a look at the entire Team Up expansion. Let's see what new cards we're looking at here. Hey, we've seen a lot of those at the pre-release. Celebi and Venusaur GX. Uh, any cool abilities to take a look at? Panic Spores for Parasect. Put two damage counters on your opponent's confused Pokemon between turns. That's not bad. Doesn't even need to be active to do that. Look at the cute little Charmander. Now we all know about the Roaring Resolve. Once during your turn, you may put two damage counters on this Charizard here. And if you do, search your deck for up to two fire energy cards and attach them to this Pokemon. It's kind of like Incineroar GX. Less damage, less energy. Uh, what else? Nine Temptations. Oops. Once during your turn, you may discard two fire energy cards from your hand. If you do, switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon with their active. That's Guzma in an ability. Nice. There's the Searing Flame, top burner of Moltres. Discard all fire energy from this Pokemon, then discard a card from the top of the opponent's deck for each energy you discarded in this way. Very cool. There's the Floating Shell Squirtle. Powerful Squall. Oh, I heard about this. There was people at the pre-release that wanted to get their hands on this card. Once during your turn, you may look at the top six cards of your deck and attach any number of water energy cards you find there to your Pokemon in any way you like. Shuffle the other cards back in. That is definitely good energy acceleration. Somewhat random. You gotta hope they're in the top six, but that's still six potential energy cards you're attaching. There's the Enter the Dragon. I love that name for Magikarp. Even though it's 30 HP Pokemon. All right, anyway. Distilled Blast. Reveal the top seven cards of your deck. 30 more damage times the amount of water energy you find there, then shuffle those energies back into your hand, or back into the deck, and then discard the others? That is risky. Blizzard Veil. As long as Articuno is your active Pokemon, whenever the opponent plays a supporter card, prevent all effects of that card done to your benched water Pokemon. Alright, see, there's... Let's take a look at the tag teams. I'm sure you all know about Pikachu and Zekrom. Full Blitz for 3 Lightning does 150. Search your deck for up to 3 Lightning energy cards and attach them to one of your Pokemon including itself, because Tag Bolt GX does 200. If this Pokemon has at least three extra Lightning Energy attached to it, in addition to its attack cost, this does 170 to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. That's 370 damage being dished out. Not too bad at all. Electro Shaker. When you play this Electrode from your hand to evolve when you're Voltorb, you may remove any number of Lightning Energy from your Pokemon to your others in any way you like. Okay. There's the Ampharos GX you got there, Sark. Look at this. Power recharge for 30. Put all Electro Power cards from your discard pile into your hand. What's the deal with Electro Power? Why are they beefing that up? Impact Bolt is 150. Discard all Lightning from this Pokemon. Electrical GX. Search your deck for up to 7 Pokemon. Reveal them and put them into your hand. Not bad. Let's take a look at that Electro Power first of all. Show you what it does. Basically, when you play it... All of your lightning Pokemon that turn do 30 more damage. So, if you have four, you play all four, because they should stack. I, I don't see why they wouldn't. Play all four, that is another 120 plus the 30 base power, power recharge. That's 150. 
but you're going to put all of those four back into your hand. Play them all again next turn, you win another 150, bringing them back in. I kind of like that idea. Impact Bolt does just as much damage, but it needs more energy, and you lose the energy that's attached to it. So, Ampharos GX with the Electro Power could work really well. And that actually goes in hand with this next Pokemon, Delivery Dash of Blitzel. Search your deck for up to two Electro Power cards, reveal them, and put them into your hand. So, they've really wanted to beef up Electro Power with this. Nuzzly Gathering. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a Pokemon that has the Nuzzle attack, reveal it, and put it into your hand. Interesting. Uh, a nerve, just to, or preventing the opponent's item or supporter cards. With the effects done to this Pokemon. Okay. The Dance of the Ancients. I think, did we see that? In uh, the random battle. Once during your turn, if this Pokemon is on the bench, you may choose two of your bench Pokemon and attach Lightning Energy from your discard pile to each of them. If you do, discard all cards from this Pokemon and put it in the Lost Zone. So you're losing your Tapu Koko. There is another tag team. I didn't see the attacks of this, really. So Gengar and Mimikyu GX. Poltergeist does 50 times each trainer card when the opponent reveals their hand. Situational. Might not always work out that well. With Horror House GX. Your opponent can't play any cards from their hand during their next turn. If this Pokemon has at least one extra Psychic Energy attached to it, each player draws cards until they have at least seven... Or not at least, until they have seven in their hand. The, the opponent can't play any of them. That's pretty broken. I like that. Just for one turn, though. This I love. Queen's Call. Once during your turn, you may search your deck for a Pokemon except for a GX or an EX. Reveal it and put it into your hand. That helps you get stuff in play pretty good. What else can we see for abilities? Poison Sacks of Muck. A special condition poison is not removed when your opponent's Pokemon evolve or de-evolve. Very interesting. Oh, what is this? Scoop up block of Mr. Mime. Your opponent's Pokemon that have any damage counters on them and any cards attached to those Pokemon can't be put into your opponent's hand. So things like AZ, Scoop Up. Why is that code still on my screen? Get out of here. But yeah, AZ, Scoop Up, um, Acerola. That's interesting. Kind of like that. How would that play out? If someone played Acerola... I think they wouldn't be allowed to play Acerola because they know it would not change anything in the game. Essentially, if you if you know that a card you play will not affect the game state, you can't play it. Like, if you... You can't play Energy Retrieval, for example, if you have no energy in the discard pile, because anyone can check the discard pile at any time. So, you theoretically know that there's none in there, so you can't just play it to get rid of it. So, that being the case, I don't think Mr. Mime would allow the opponent to play Acerola, because with the ability in play, you know Acerola will have no effect. And that's, as a professor, that's the way I would judge that. And speaking of Mr. Mime, Mr. Mime GX with the Magic Odds ability this time. Prevent all damage done to this Pokemon by your opponent's attacks if that damage is exactly 10, 30, 50, 70, 90, 110, 130, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, or 250. Just like Magic Evens, except odd. Breakdown for each card in the opponent's hand, put one damage counter on their active Pokemon. That might actually work well with the Gengar and Mimikyu, because... You draw them, make them draw seven. I mean, it's only seven damage counters, though. Eh. Life Trick GX, heal all damage from this Pokemon. He could be a really good stall tactic. We've seen Cosmog. Let's take a look at who else is here in the... What? The look at the face! Fossil Bind. As long as you have fewer Pokemon in play than your opponent, they can't play any item cards from their hand. I kind of like that. We've got the Fossilized Memories there. We know all about that. Lycanroc GX, hang on. Twilight Eyes, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon, you may discard an energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon. And Accelerock does 120, and Splintered, non-Storm Shards, GX, the stack does 30 damage for each energy card in your opponent's discard pile. Cool stuff. Adventurous Appetite, when you play this Pokemon from your hand to evolve one of your Pokemon during your turn, look at the top six cards of the opponent's deck, discard any number of item cards you find there, then the others shuffle back in. Adventurous Appetite. I guess it's like looking through the deck to eat those tools, or those items. That's interesting. Uh, what else is in here? Any other abilities to take a look at? Eveltal is back. Hoopa GX! 
Oh, someone got this at the pre-release, at the uh, the three bonus packs. Rogue Ring, search your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand. Not bad. Doesn't do any damage, though. Dark Strike does 160. You can't use Dark Strike next turn. Devilish Hands GX, choose one of your opponent's Pokemon GX or EX six times. You can choose the same Pokemon more than once. Okay, for each time you chose a Pokemon, do 30 damage to it. I get it. It's like it's sending its hands through the, the rings. All right. So you can actually do all six hits. This was one of the uh, frequently asked questions, too. Someone, like, they put in a frequently asked questions document every time you get a pre-release event. Someone, I guess, had a question. Could you do all six hits to a Pokemon that's already been knocked out? Technically, you can, because they only check for the knockout after the attack concludes. So you could, if you wanted to, do all damage to one Pokemon, even if the first few already knocked it out. We have Skarmory in here. If, you do, if you've used your GX attack, this attack does 70 more damage. Okay. Stellar Wish. Somebody had this at the pre-release and wanted to make it active. Once during your turn, if it is active, look at the top five cards of the deck, reveal a trainer card you find, and put it into your hand. Then this Pokemon is now asleep. That could be very useful indeed. Heat proof for Bronzong. Prevent all damage done by fire Pokemon. And... I like this. Metal symbol. Check this out. Each of your Pokemon has any metal energy attached to it. Can't be affected by any special conditions. Thanks to Cobalion GX. Dueling Saber does 50, plus 60 more if there's a stadium in play. And Iron Rule GX. During the opponent's next turn, their Pokemon can't attack. But you don't hit them for damage, which is kind of uh, just a stall tactic, basically. Royal Guard of Aegislash. The Pokemon takes 40 less damage from attacks. Uh, Key of Secrets from Klefki. All of your metal Pokemon now resist by 40. There's Luminous Barrier. There's so many cards to go through. I gotta just speed through it. I'm already... Well, I'm at the Dragons already, but still. There's the Eevee and Snorlax GX. Look at all the Pokemon. I'm, I gotta check the Trainer cards, too, but... I think I'll say... Uh... So... Why? Why are there two Magikarp and Whaler GX like full arts? I'm not complaining. I'm just the style of art is so dramatically different than what we're used to. I mean, I like it. Do we have a Rainbow Rear version of that one? No, we don't. But I mean, I like it. <laughs> What the? Anyways, I think, yeah, we're just going to end off there. We've gone for close to two hours now. You guys are probably sick of me by now, but hopefully you guys get some good cards out of the packs, the codes that I've given out. And if anyone had done the uh, question of the day for the pre-release video that I put up there on the channel a while back, if you haven't gotten the code for me yet, check the message because I left you a... Uh, a little way to get in touch with me so I can send you the direct message with your code and I'll do that once I see your requests and your uh, what am I saying? responses come in for setting up the friend connection on YouTube. But that's going to be it for tonight. Thank you folks for tuning in and checking out some new cards with me here tonight and enjoying some Incineroar GX power with a little bit of Tyranitar and Shaman I guess. Shaman didn't fight though. So forget Shaman. Anyways, hopefully you guys had fun with this. If you want to stay tuned to the channel for some more Pokemon TCG content, you are welcome to do so, of course. Feel free to subscribe to the channel, or you can now join as a member also and get some members-exclusive perks, which includes at least once per month you get a Pokemon TCG online code card as thanks for your contribution to help myself and the channel out. There's other perks as well for being a member, of course. You can check out all of those perks highlighted in my video on the main screen, main screen, main page of my YouTube channel. But that is going to be a wrap. So once again, folks, thank you for tuning in, checking things out, and hanging out with me for the evening. Stay tuned tomorrow. We'll be doing some Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon Wonder trading of the Ralts that I had bred up for our recent Wi-Fi battles. I'm going to be starting to send them out throughout the world. Whoever happens to get them, get them. Nope. Whoever happens to get them, gets them. There we go. There's English. All right. I'm clearly done talking. Thanks, folks, again for watching today. Have yourselves a good evening. Professor Chaz is... You are welcome for the stream, Restless Thoughts, and the codes. You had fun indeed, for sure. Awesome stuff. Glad to hear it, and thanks for tuning in. Anyway, I'm now signing off. Have a good evening, and I'll catch you next time, as always. By the way, I do now have an outro for the videos.
I just don't have a setup for the streams yet, but I'll get to that at some point. In that sense, have a good night, everybody, and we'll see you here next time.